Hello, I'm Tony Mesa with Tony Mesa Real Estate School. Uh, today I'm going to give you uh, a math problem that is sometimes referred to as the bins problem um, on the state examination. Uh, when they say bins, they actually mean storage rooms. Uh, the whole concept behind this problem is somebody's buying a building, they're going to divide it into separate rooms and they're going to rent out those rooms. So like a storage facility, the common type of storage facility you see. It, on the state exam, sometimes they refer to this as bins alone. Sometimes they say storage bins. Don't th let that confuse you. When you see the word bins, think storage facility, right? So they begin by telling you Mike is building bins. The building is 120 by 80, 120 feet by 80 feet. Four floors, 20% of the space uh, in each floor is halls. Uh, each 12 foot by 8 foot bin rents for $10 per month. Calculate the yearly income. Um, so the first thing is uh, he's building these storage uh, rooms, right? These bins, as they're calling them. The building is 120 by 80. Uh, that means it's 120 feet long by 80 feet wide. That has nothing to do with the height. So when you say the building is 120 feet by 80 feet, you're talking length by the width. So the first thing that I do here is I take 120 feet, I multiply it by 80 feet, and what happens there is that gives me 9,600 square feet. That is the total square footage of each floor. So each floor is 9,600 square feet. Great, now I've got the total uh, square footage of each floor, but they've told me that 20% of the space is hallways, um, if they tell you 20% of the space is hallways, 20% of the space is elevators, uh, hallways, elevators, where you have them, you cannot also build uh, the storage rooms, right? So that means that 20% of the space on each floor is not usable. And we need to subtract that from the total square footage of each floor to get the usable square footage of each floor. So here, I take 9,600 square feet, right? That's the square footage of each floor times 0.2. Now why times 0.2? Um, on the state exam, whenever you have a percentage number uh, and you're going to do a math problem, instead of trying to use the percentage key in your calculator, which sometimes goofs people up, my advice to you is always change the percentage number to a decimal number. And the way you change a percentage number to a decimal number is you divide by 100. So 20%, you take the number 20, you put it in your calculator, right? You hit the divide key, you hit 100, you're taking 20 and dividing it by 100, and you will get 0.2. So 0.2 is how we write 20% as a decimal number. 9,600 times 0.2 gives us 1,920 square feet. That is how much square footage each floor is in halls. That is how much the halls take up. And the idea is that is the amount in each floor that is not usable to build the storage bins. The next step is I take the total square footage of each floor, 9,600 minus 1,920, and that leaves me with 7,680 square feet. That is the square footage of each floor that is usable, usable, right? So now I've got my usable square footage. Now, the next step, and look, they don't necessarily give you the problem, with the facts in the order that you should use the facts in your calculation. Sometimes you have to jump down here, go back up here. Notice I haven't dealt with the four floors yet at all, right? So here, what happens is we've got each bin uh, is 12 feet by eight feet, 12 by eight, 12 multiplied by eight, each bin will be 96 square feet. And then I've got my usable square footage. So remember each floor, we have 7,680 square feet that is usable space, right, in each floor. And each one of those bins is 96 square feet. So you take the 7,680 divided by 96, that gives you 80 bins that you can build um, in each floor. So you have 80 bins in each floor. Now, then we go back up here. It is four floors. So each, foot, each floor is 120 by 80, but then you've got one, two, three, four floors. So you know you can build 80 bins on each floor, you multiply that by four and you get 320 total bins. So you're gonna be able to build, based on the information they've given you there, uh, 320 storage rooms, or bins as they're calling them, right? 
Now, that's not the end of the problem. I just have to erase here so that you guys can see uh, a little bit better. Let me erase uh, part of the question instead of part of the answer. So, um, we have then the fact that each one of these bins rents for $10 per month, and they are asking to calculate the yearly, yearly rent, right? So what do we have? We have 320 bins, right? And each one rents for 10 bucks per month. So 320 times 10 winds up giving us $3,200. $3,200 is how much you're gonna have in income on a monthly basis. So monthly uh, rent, right? The total that you're gonna be able to rent them out for to other people. But the question is not how much uh, do you make per month? The question is calculate the yearly rent, right? So then we take that 3,200 and we multiply it by 12 months in the year. So 3,200 times 12 then gives us $38,400 and that is the yearly, yearly rent or yearly income that you get from that property. So that is uh, the bins problem. Again, don't be confounded by the fact that they're calling them bins. People just call them usually storage facilities nowadays, but that's what they're talking about. And watch out for that problem in the state exam. It is a very popular math problem. Have a good day. And remember, www.TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com. All one word, TonyMesaRealEstateSchool.com. You can go on there uh, if, uh, to see additional videos. You can go on there. Uh, frequently asked questions and answers regarding the real estate exams and uh, licensing. And you can go on there also to register for the course. Have a great day.